uh, have a 45 minute flow planned for you. It is filled with twists. We've got some forearm balancing. We've got some pigeon flying. So if any of those serve you, you can fly right in. If not, there are always modifications I'll offer. So let's go ahead and get your mat unrolled. And if you're ready and you have your device with the playlist on it, go ahead and hit start. And then we are going to begin today's practice right at the top of your mat in a comfortable easy seat. So a little sukhasana. So when you get there, just slide your hands below your shins, round your back and tuck your chin. If you're just joining, I'm Susan Smelt. I'm going to be your guide. Sally has signed in. Now rock forward, arch your back and look up. A little cat cow seated. Roll back. Inhale, roll forward. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale, dive back in. Round for a little cat. Inhale, rock up and lift for cow. Now start to circle your waist right around your sits bones. Good morning, Karen. Just a nice circular motion. Welcome to your best self today. We're going to unwrap those layers that could ever possibly hinder you. Now reverse that direction. Travel around in the opposite direction. They say you're 25% happier on Fridays. So we're going to tap into that TGIF. They also say 10% of our lives is comprised of what happens to us. 90% is how we respond. Isn't that right, Mom? Reach up, breathe in. Collect your hands right at heart center. That Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes and seal your purpose for unrolling your mat today right into your heart. Let it bring peace and clarity as you move on your mat. Practicing being present and in the now. That is when we know how. So set aside any obstacles it took for you to get here and bring a purpose that could help lift someone else up or encourage someone in your life. Then stretch your arms, offer that intention up, breathe in, and then take a twist. Right hand on the outside of the left leg, almost lean back and even shift your gaze up. Take the back arm crisscross as you bow down. Inhale, collect each elbow, lift up and over to the right, and then up and over to the left. Sweep the arms back out and up, breathe in. Twist, left hand on the outside of the right thigh, sit up tall, lean back, draw the tips of your ears back, lengthen your neck, back Right arm up and over for that crisscross bow down. Inhale, rise, catch your elbows, lift up and over to the left. That picture frame around your head is that slate, that canvas that is totally clear that you get to fill in today. Tense your finger pads, roll your shoulders back, lift the heart up and lean. Now slide your hands off the mat. Feet are going to go all the way to the width. And just go for a little rock side to side, a little shift of your hips. And then you're going to rock your hips over to the left. 
and you're going to face the back of your mat as you circle that right arm up. Now, come back down on a contraction. Inhale, open up, twisting your body to the back of your mat as you bow down. Inhale as you rise up. Now, if you want to lift the right leg, add a little bit more. That's always an option. When you contract, lift the right leg up. One last time, exhale, pull in. Inhale, open up and then switch. Rotate both of your knees over to the right. Travel to the back of your mat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, pull in. Maybe you want to lift that back leg up on the contraction. Exhale, use your breath. That ujjayi pranayama. Inhale, open up. Come to the top. Slide your legs out. Levitate your arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, Dandasana, Staff Pose, breathe out, bow down and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise your arms back up, slide your hands into your back pockets, let your forearms come down, pump your heart up for a little fish pose. Now bring your body up. Cross your legs, hands go down, just kind of glide back. Hands and knees, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, melt your heart. Do that again, exhale, round and hollow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, pull your navel in. Inhale and arch. Keep that going, exhale as you push the earth away. Inhale and arch. Last time, exhale, pull the belly in. Inhale and arch. Let your hands shift. One right, one left. Circle the hips around to the right. So we can learn from the geese today. The geese that fly in that V formation. I'm sure you've seen them. Well, those geese, those like-minded geese that fly together, have a 71% more amount of energy when they fly together than if they flew alone. Reverse that direction. So we can take that lesson from the geese and activate it into our own lives. Hanging out with people headed in the same direction and finding that ease in that path that you're traveling. Maybe it's in your family, all in a common direction. Walk your hands right towards your knees. Flip them all the way around. Thumbs go out. Pull your navel in. Bend the arms, chin to chest. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, pull and dive back in. Inhale, arch and look up. Last time, exhale, really warming up those wrists and forearms. Inhale and arch, flip your hands around, stretch your feet out, let the arms go up. Create that V like the geese fly in. Rise up, seeking that common direction with like-minded people to find and unravel, unwrap your best self. Lace your hands, slide them down the backside and look up, hug your inner thighs in. Release that connection, put your hands back down, bring your big toes together, let your hips drop down, tap the top of your head. Exhale, push back child's pose, hips to heels. Inhale, rise forward, big toes together, knees wide, hips dip, tap the back of your head. Exhale, draw it up and back. Two more times, inhale, get that mobility into your body. Look up, exhale, take it up and back. Last time, 
Rise up, connect your breath to your moves, big toes together, hips dip, heart lifts. Now straighten your legs out and lower all the way to your mat. Slide your hands off your mat, root down, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, lower back down. Do that again, root down, rise up, this time hold. Look over to the right. Look up and over to the left. Lower back down. Hands slide by your ribs. Tuck your toes under. Up and back you go. Down dog. Now in your down dog, pedal through your feet. They're going to be the width of your hips. You might even want to pedal through your hands. So that would look like the heel of your hands lifting. The knuckle base staying rooted and grounded. Just pedal through a little movement. Warming up the calves, the Achilles, the arms, the forearms. Now, walk your feet in six inches. Bring them together. Pick up both heels on the in-breath. Bend your knees as you shift your heels to the right on the out breath. Hips to heels. Peel the left arm up. Breathe. Left arm up and over. Breathe. Come back around. Short little dog. Inhale. Heels lift. Exhale. Shift the heels to the left. Hips to heels. Spin the right arm up and over. Lengthen the right side body. Come back around to that short little down dog. Now take one million steps to the top of your mat. Nice slow stroll. No rush, no hurry. Heel toe your feet all the way to the width of your mat when you get to the top. Soften the knees, collect one hand on each bicep and ignite a little sway. Now let that sway. Be energized from the energy of the earth all the way up through the crown and out of the crown of your head. Breathe. Smooth out your breath. Now shake your head out right at the top of your mat as you come into that center hanging in ragdoll. Let any kind of angst, any worry, just let it spill right out from in between your ears. Just staying right here in the now. That's when we know how. Draw that yes back in. Knowing you are exactly where you belong today. Now release your hands down. Heel toe your feet all the way together. Rise all the way up. Breathe in. Right hand, left wrist. Take a side bend. Inhale, back up, left hand, right wrist, lean to the left. Come back, make that V with your arms, just like those geese flying in that like-minded direction. Hands together at heart center, fold on down. Inhale and in lengthen, step back to down dog. From your down dog, pick up both heels, breathe in. Dome your upper back, pull your ribs in, shift into high plank. Exhale, take your body up and back. Start to build that heat, shift back into high plank. Draw your navel in, shoulders over the wrists, lengthen. Exhale, back, down dog. Two more, heels lift, breathe in, shift the shoulders over the wrists, high plank. Exhale, back, down dog. Last time, smooth and steady. Heels lift, shift into high plank and hold. Zero to three on those push-ups. Maybe you want to do none. Maybe you want your knees down. On the third, lower all the way down. Point your toes. Rise your heart up. Maybe cobra with your hips grounded. Maybe up dog. Take it up and back, down dog. Take your time. Breathe and down dog. Let the right leg lift. Turn open at the hip. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Spread the toes. Right knee, left tricep. Hug it across. Inhale. Take it up and back. Turn open. 
Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, take it up and back, turn open. Last time, right knee, left tricep. Bring it up and back, turn open at the hip. Knee to nose, one time. Step it up, Anjaneyasana. Back knee down, Kali Mudra. Hands slip together, offer the arms up. Turn them into that V. Lace your hands behind the back. Dip your hips. Slide the hands down. Look up. Release. Glide back for a little runner stretch. Dig the front heel in. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale. Bow down. Now go ahead and plant the hands. Pick the left kneecap up. Shoot the right leg back and your arms bend. Right leg meets the left. Inhale up. Exhale, take it up and back. Down dog, breathe out. Hold. Moving your breath smooth in and out through your nose. Let the left leg lift on the rise. Turn open at the hip. Left knee, right tricep, hug it across. Inhale, take it up and back, turn open. Pull the right hip back. Left knee, right tricep, hug it across. Inhale, take it up and back. One more time. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Keep the right kneecap facing the earth. Inhale, up and back. Turn open to this new day in a new way. Left knee right up the center line. Step it forward. Dip the right knee down. Kali Mudra. Collect the hands. Dip the hips. Turn it into that V, that formation the geese fly in, and that like-minded members in the same direction. Lace your hands, slide them down the backside, look up. Release, glide back for runner stretch. Bow down. Inhale, pump your heart up, breathe in. Exhale, bow back down, breathe out. Now, as you slide the left foot back, plant your hand, shoot the left leg behind, bend your arms, three-legged chaturanga. Left leg joins the right, up dog or cobra. Take it up and back, down dog. Breathe out. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Bring them together. On the inhale, pick your heels up. On the exhale, bend your knees, hop, float, fly, feet to your hands. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, fold, sit into chair, Utkatasana. Rise up, make that V on top with your arms, open up. Exhale, wash it away, bow down. Inhale and lengthen, step or float it back, take it through that flow. Meet back. No rush. Down dog. Right legs on the rise. Turn open at the hip. Step it up one time. Crescent lunge. Rise your arms up. Breathe in. Make that V. Set it down. Breathe out. Move through that flow. Rise up. Exhale. Take it back. Down dog. Left legs on the rise. Turn open, my friends. Step it up. Crescent. Each leg on its own track of train. And then rise up. Create that V. Set it down. Let it go. Let it flow. Move through your vinyasa flow. In your style. You want to kick it up? That's always an option. You want to take it out? That is an option as well. Walk your feet in just a little bit. This is Surya Namaskara B. We're going to move through. One breath, one move. First, we're going to hop up to chair. So pick your heels up on the in-breath. On the out-breath, bend your knees. Hop, float, fly to Utkatasana chair. Stand up, create that V. 
Exhale, dive down. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Take it through. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, up and back. Right leg's on the left. Turn open. Step it up. One breath, one move. Crescent with the V-style arms. Set it down. Let it go. Let it flow. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, take it back. Down dog. Left leg's on the rise. Turn open. Knee to nose, step it up, crescent, rise up, create that V. Exhale, set it down, let it go, let it flow. You choose the exit. If you want to lift up, that's always an option. If you want to take it out, that is an option as well. You choose, you decide, you come as you are. Now, heel toe your feet back together and walk them in a touch. Pick your heels up, shift the heels to the right, bend the knees, hips to heels, left arm up, left arm up and over, breathe. Come back around, pick the heels up. We're turning up that heat. Even the fire department's going heap to heels. Peel the right arm up, balance. Right arm up and over. Come back around. Now, hang on with your hands for a little rapid fire flying. Three to five of those Shakti kicks landing in Utkatasana. Hop up in that little ball. Land light. Inhale on the hop. Maybe you catch a little hang time. Three to five, land in chair when you're ready. Utkatasana. Stand up, V the arms, open up to this day. Seeking out those like-minded people, bow down. Inhale and lengthen, step or float your body back, take it through. Inhale up, exhale back. Right leg lifts, turn open. Step it up crescent. Inhale, rise. Create that V formation, signifying flying together. Let it go through that vinyasa flow. Empty your breath out. Inhale up. Exhale back, down dog. Left legs on the rise. Turn open. Step it up, crescent. Rise up. Lift someone up on that V. Set it down. Let it go. Let it flow. Sweep away anything not serving you. Meet back in down dog. Now in your down dog, <clears throat> lift your right leg up. Turn open at the hip. We'll move on. Right knee, left tricep, hug it across. Inhale, take it up and back. Right knee, left tricep, hug it across. Inhale, up and back. Right knee, left tricep and hold. Shoot it out, fall your triangle, left arm up and over. Left hand down, pull the right knee in. Step it up, crescent, rise up, create that V. Hands together at heart center. Hinge your upper body and twist. Left upper arm outside the right front thigh. Maybe you stay, maybe you open. Up and around, warrior two, breathe. Stargazer, open up. <clears throat> Jiva lunge, back of the house. Hands to heart center. Maybe you dip down and the right toes come up. Go back to the top of your mat. Jiva lunge. Breathe. 
spin around, modified revolved. Now take your right knee up, outer edge of the left foot, lift, maybe flip, right foot behind the left. Right arm comes up, bring it around, right foot outside the right pinky finger. Left knee dips, sweep the right hand back, bend the left leg, pull the heel in, open up the heart. Release the right hand down, glide back, runner stretch. Pick up the back kneecap, hop up, wide-legged fold. Peace fingers around your big toes, pull them up on the in-breath. Exhale, sneak your elbows in on the out-breath. Shake your head out, weave, side to side. Do it again. Pick the big toes up, breathe in. Exhale, dive back down, breathe out. Release the big toes, heel toe your feet all the way together. Rise up, create that V with your arms. Flying in that like-minded formation, 70% further than if you flew alone. Exhale, bow down and fold. Vinyasa. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Take it through. Meet back. In down dog. When you get there, left leg lifts. Solidify your down dog. Turn open at the hip. Left knee, right tricep. Hug it across. Inhale, up and back, turn open. Left knee, right tricep, hug. Inhale, take it up and back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Shoot the left foot out. Spin the right arm up and overhead. Right hand down, left knee in, pause. Step it up, crescent. Each leg on its own train track, create that V. Now collect your hands, hinge, twist it out, right upper arm on the outside of that left front thigh. Maybe you stay, maybe you open up. Hold, breathe. Now up and around, stay low, warrior two. Stargazer, heels in, toes out. Jiva, back of your mat. Maybe you dip all the way down. Let the heart lift. The pose of light and love. Jiva at the top of your mat. Spin around to the front. Right hand down, left arm lifts. Now, right hand plant solid. Look back at the right foot. Come to the pinky edge side. Pull the left knee up. Maybe point the toe, lift the heart. Maybe flip it, left foot behind the right. Left arm comes up, bring it around. Left foot steps outside the left pinky finger. Pump the finger pads up, dip the back knee down. Right hand stays down, left arm brushes and sweeps. Catch the right foot, pull the heel in. Kick the shin back as the heart lifts. Release, glide back for a little modified runner stretch, bow down. Hop up, malasana, top of your mat, hands to heart center. From here, rise up, stand tall. Do it again, exhale, come back down. Do it again, inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale back down, last time, vinyasa. Inhale, rise up, look up, create that V. Exhale, plant the palm, step, float, fly it back. Take it through. Inhale, rise up. Exhale back, down dog. Now right leg's gonna cross over the left. Walk your hands back to the back of the mat. Right leg is over the left. Come into standing pigeon. Now stand up, right hand, right shin, fly your tree. 
come to hands at heart center. Crane. Draw that right leg back. Stretch the heel to the back of the earth. Dive down. Praying mantis. Breathe. Hands release down. Pull back on the left hip. Exhale, right leg behind the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, dive back down. Inhale, back up. Last time, squeeze it in. Right hand down. Peel the left arm up. Breathe in. Now walk it out to a short little dog. Pull the right knee in. Stretch it back. Hop off the left. Do it again. Exhale, right knee in. Hug your muscles into your bones. Lift up like the geese. Fly. Last time. Exhale, knee to nose. Stretch up and lift. Maybe catch a little balance. Land back. Right leg goes long. Three-legged dog. Knee to nose. Pull it in. Step it up. Crescent lunge. Rise up. This time, back knee in, stand. Crane again. Left leg over the right. Now you've got the option to stay right here. But if you're ready for that arm balance, Hakapada Galavasana. Hands come down. Left leg wraps around the right. Lean into it. Lift the right leg up. Come back. Land, standing pigeon. Open it up from here, half moon. Reach back for a bent right leg, open and breathe. Now, release that connection. Bend the right leg, left arm up and over. Pick up the right arm, do a hasta. Step back, warrior two. Two, flip the right palm, straighten the leg, reach up and back. Pinwheel your hands down, wash it away. Cleanse, purify, rinse. Meet back, down dog. Breathe. In your down dog, left leg crosses over the right. Walk your hands back. Bend the right leg. Standing pigeon. Stable. Pull the right hip back. Now fly your tree. Lift up. Stand tall. Taller. Left leg in. Hands to heart center. You've got this. Crouching tiger, stretch back the left leg. Maybe you point the toes as you dive down. Praying mantis. Let your hands go down. Squeeze the left leg behind the right. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dive back in. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dive back in. Left hand down. Peel the right arm up. Breathe. Now unravel to a short little down dog. Stretch back that left leg. Maybe you point, maybe you flex, maybe you floint. Pick up the right heel, left knee into the nose. Stretch back, lift up. Land back down where you left. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch up. Land back down. Last time. Exhale, knee to nose. No rush. Inhale, hop off the right foot. Create that balance in your practice, in your life. Land back down. Knee to nose one time. Step it up. Crescent lunge. Levitate your arms up. Breathe. Draw the back knee in. Standing crane. Right leg crosses over. 
Draw the standing hip back. You can always stay or plant your hands down. Wrap that right arm around the left to fly your pigeon. Left leg lifts. Breathe. Come back. Slow. Open it up. Half moon. Half moon like walking on the moon. Maybe connect to that chapasana. Release. Bend the left leg. Right arm up and over. Left arm lifts. Step it back. Warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Flip the left palm. Look up. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body. Through that flow, empty your breath out. You choose the exit. Meeting back in child's pose. Bring your hands alongside your body, palms up. Breathe. Right into rabbit, lace your hands. Come onto the crown of your head, let the shoulders rinse. Release that connection, tuck your toes under. Walk your hands up your thighs, stretch the feet out. Stretch your arms out and up, collect your hands. Lift off your heels, V those arms like the geese. Now lace your hands behind your back, slide them down, look up. Release the hands down, hands and knees, drop the forearms, arch the back, cow. Exhale, pick the elbows up, cat. Drop the forearms, look up, cow. Exhale, pull the belly in, cat. Two more. Drop the forearms, arch the back, look up. Exhale, navel into spine. Last time, drop the forearms, look up and hold. Now let your head lower down. Tuck your toes under, come right into dolphin. Now you can stay right here in dolphin. It's an inversion, letting your forearms root down. You could lift the right leg up. You could play with a little balance. You could pull the right leg up. Come into that forearm balance. Stable, steady, land back down. Embryo pose, slow. Now stretch your hands out, rise back up, hands and knees, tuck your toes under. Right leg lifts, turn open at the hip. Stay or flip inside out, wild thing. Bring the right arm up, bring it around, right knee, right wrist for pigeon. Now start to walk your body down. Now you can let your head bow down. Now what layer could you let go of so you can unwrap another layer of your best self? Heading in that common direction with like-minded people, you will progress 70% more than if you flew alone. So gather your flock. Common purpose. Left leg might inch back. Surrender into another level. Now walk your body back up. 
you're going to come back to down dog. Maybe just shake out that right leg. Now left leg's going to lift. Turn open at the hip. Stay right here if this serves you best. Or flip inside out. Left foot behind the right. Lift up and over. Open up your heart to the heavens. Lift your purpose up. Open your purpose up. Left arm lifts. Left knee, left wrist. Take your time, pigeon. Slide it down. Left heel, top of the right thigh. Then walk your body down. What could you let go of? What offense? What grudge? What unforgiveness have you been holding? You want to drop it right now onto your mat. Hurting people hurt people, and it only hinders your practice, your journey, your flight. We've always heard that when you travel, you want to travel with a light load. Luggage travels, baggage doesn't. So whatever you got to do to lighten that load, it usually begins in between the ears. Now walk your body back up. This time roll onto the left sit bone. Bring the right leg around. Let your feet go back to the width of your hips. Like the beginning of class, hands slide out. Go back to the rock side to side. Now rinse both knees over to the left. And I want you to travel to the back of your mat. This time, forearms come down. Now, inhale, pull your forearms towards your body. Lift your head up. Exhale, dive back in. Now, come up and around. Make the transition slow. Rinse the knees over to the right. Travel your forearms to the back of your mat bow down. Now lift your heart up. Feel that left side body stretching out. Then dive back in. Now come back up and around. I want you to slide your legs out. Slip your hands into your back pockets. Fish pose as your heart puffs up. Now slide your hands down. Go ahead and take your hands under your hamstrings or lay your hands. Roll around on your back. Reverse that direction. And then come right into happy baby. Take a touch of a rock. Rock over onto the right. on the outside of the right leg and dive in. And in and roll it over the left hip. Look over to the right. Just twist it out. Come back onto your back. Happy baby. So just shift side to side and happy baby. Now let your hand back over to the left thigh bone right heel lands toward the right sit bone. You could stay right here or maybe you want more. Slide the right leg long. More than that, left hand outside the right leg. Dive up and under that left leg. Breathe. Now from here, slide right on out into our final resting pose. Let your hands come alongside your body. Let your palms face up to the heavens, landing in the sea of silence. So just let your breath rinse and wash over your body. Now, if you have time today to stay here, please do so. 
But if you're coming with me, we're just going to make that shift very gently onto our right side. Using your forearms and your hands, push your body up. Lift yourself up, just like the geese into a new day sitting cross-legged at the top of your mat. Stretch your arms out into that V. Look up. Hold. Gather your purpose right into your heart. Collect it. Bow your chin to your chest. Seal your intention in. And finish your practice off today with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Don't be shy. Breathe in. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Well, thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me today. So awesome to see you. So awesome to have you unroll your mat here today. I'm going to bring Buddy back on. So we hope that you are a little bit happier, maybe as much as 25%. Kathy, Leslie, Jan, several Jans, Megan. So good to see you guys. So I've got Buddy here. Do you think she's going to do a little trick for us? She's very interested in the birds in the yard. Can you do up dog? Can you do up dog for your friends? Can you do up dog? Can you do up dog? Yes. Stay. Now smile. Oh, yes, buddy. She's been really practicing this quarantine so she can come out better than she came in. So thank you for joining me today. My hope is that you feel better. Thank you for flying with me. We're going to fly 70% further this week because we're headed in the same direction. So go on out. You can follow me on Instagram right here. You follow me on YouTube. If you want to watch my channel, you can do your yoga at any time, anywhere. But I'll be back on Facebook Live Sunday morning, and I'll plan on seeing you then. TGIF. Have a never better Friday. Thanks, you guys, for coming out. You are the best.